Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, I know it's been a while since I posted, it's because I never had Wi-Fi for like a month, so that was kind of sucky, but I'm back on the grind on my TikTok at Ludacristage, and yeah, on YouTube, so today I'll be showing you this really insane app, it's called lowkey.gg, right here, basically, if you need an app that can literally record all your gaming clips, or even not gaming, and also it gives you a maintaining of high fps then this is the perfect thing because usually with like obs and nvidia geforce or experience whatever it's called it makes your fps a lot worse in game and if you have a low end like device like i do then this will definitely help it only takes i believe like 20 fps away from your gameplay so like when i have my fortnite uncapped I get 230 at max, but when I have this on while recording with all of these tabs open, I still get like 210 FPS. And it's actually not too bad, so I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to download it and set it up. Okay guys, so first what you need to do is you need to go to anything, Google or Bing, or I don't know. Who uses Bing though? <laughs> and then all you got to do is you got to type here lowkey dot gg or at least oh i spelled it wrong thank you there we go lowkey dot gg then once you type that it should be the first thing that pops up if you're on apple download it for apple if you for windows download it for Win so, bleh, windows and then once you're done downloading it it should be on the bottom of your screen here just open it and it'll take a bit to load well, a bit as in a couple seconds, but once it's done loading, then you'll be here. Don't mind that big recording tab there. Okay, so once you're in here, you know, you can just quickly make your username, etc. It's not too bad. You can, I think you can log into your Google or your Discord. And then you'll have an account. And what you'll, where you'll be, you'll be in the dashboard. And you'll have all your over here. And like for me, example, I play a lot of Fortnite's. Cause I'm a Fortnite guy. Sheesh. And then you'll be on the dashboard. Basically before you start recording. There's some stuff you need to know. So just go into your settings. And once you're in your settings. You'll come with a bunch of different stuff. Your version should be this. Well like it depends. If you're watching from a year from now. Hi 2022. What version is this? And uh, is this still COVID? Okay. But um, you can decide. Either display or game capture. So I would say game capture if you're just doing gaming because it puts lots of the resources well it puts less resources but it focuses more on like the gaming but your display capture it'll take the whole screen and it'll do different windows not just your specific game and there's a lot of games that this software supports so yeah unless you're playing some weird game that just came out a day ago but uh, yeah, it should work for game capture. But if not, just go into display capture. It should work. Now, this is something. If you don't want to record every single time you hop on, just turn this off. Automatically record games. Turn it off. Because it keeps on automatically recording for like literally no reason. And that was kind of bugging me. So just turn that off. It'll be set to record all games. Don't type in... What you want and then click that just like don't put it on at all unless you want to record without having to go on the app and stuff which you might you might not but for me i'd rather do it manually and know when i'm starting and when i'm ending i don't want it just to randomly start recording and then here it's just where you save your videos nothing much oh and here this is something okay this will choose how much of your storage the game will let you like not the game you the <laughs> this will show how much storage the app will allow you to like use so i have it on unlimited almost everyone does but if your pc has low storage like mine has terabytes but let's say yours only has 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes you might want to have that capped just so you don't use more than you expected now we should be done on the general tab let's go to video and audio now this is gonna be like the quality of your video so fps 
If you're playing something like Fortnite, you want to record it in 60 FPS. Please, I don't want to watch your Fortnite montage on 20 FPS. Like, that'll just be bad. Unless you're playing, like, some low-key mobile game or something, or I don't know. But, like, you want it on 60 FPS. Unless you have a super low NPC. In that case, just put it to 30. Low is 25, but try go 60. Next up with a bitrate, this will <laughs> is even um there's a bunch of icons and tell you what it means. It basically like makes your gameplay look more smoother and clearer, but then your file will be larger, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and then your resolution uh, I have it on twelve eighty by seven twenty P because I play Fortnite on that resolution. I don't play full HD even though my screen is full HD. But yeah. This is my settings. I have a i7 4500U and a GeForce 840M with 8GB of RAM. So that's what I just use. And I do get a lot of FPS. I still get like 200 FPS on creative, that is. So it should be fine. This thing takes like none of your FPS even though you're recording. And then here, if you have multiple monitors, you can just choose between one. And then you can also have a webcam face reveal. Let me just click, I'm joking, I'm not going to click that. Like, unless I'm, like, famous. <laughs> Once we get to a million, you know, I'll just pop that open. Well, if I had a million subs, I'd probably have a new gaming PC because I'll be more dedicated to YouTube. And then here, you can just choose, like, what... I need to breathe. <laughs> here, you can choose what input you want to have for your microphone and your audio. I just have my headsets mic and my headset as my audio microphone and then advanced settings you can turn that on or off i have it on switches and beta just confirm it oh that's how you get there <laughs> i should have told you that before and show advanced settings file extension you can change it but just go recommended because it can sometimes corrupt your thing or crash and then here you can choose if you want the GPU or the CPU to record your gameplay. Now, I recommend GPU, especially if it's a CPU-bound game like Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO. Go with the GPU. And even if it's not, still go with the GPU because most of the times it will be really beneficial. So, stay recommended with the GPU. And then that's it for the video and audio tab, guys. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long. I'll be I'm trying to go quick but there's quite a bit of stuff. Next up you just got your hotkeys, like you can say how you want to start recording and end your recording and also you can see if you want to bookmark like a clip you got, you can just press for me F9. And if you want to mute or unmute your mic if your parents come in your room, Jimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> and then I don't even know what this is, uh yeah, just, just just read the stuff, I don't know. I don't even use this, but yeah, okay. Sorry if you're hearing like random noises because it's raining outside, but it just stopped right now, so it's pretty chill. Then fancy features, okay. So you can choose, let's say you're not a YouTuber and you're not recording three hour long videos. Totally not me. <laughs> All my clips are like three hours long. I play Fortnite like a lot, that's why. But you can choose if you want to continuously record or if you only want to have clips and if you do only want to have clips when you want to save the clip you can say how far back in time you want it to be so let's say you got a clip now if you have it only record clips you can save the clip and this will show how many seconds backwards it will go so like you can see the full clip and then to the kill and now I suggest putting it on 60 seconds because most clips aren't any longer than 60 seconds. But you can go all the way to 4 minutes. Wait, 60, 120, 180. Yeah, that's 4 minutes. Quick maths, guys. 60 seconds is recommended, but you can go up to 40 seconds. Then if you are a... I don't know what that is. I know, that's Bruh. that's a really... That, that, mm, I don't know. League of Legends, there we go. If you're a League of Legends player, you can do all this blah 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 stuff. I don't know. And then you can just, yeah, you can disable Discord, overlays, Discord now. And you can start the application in your tray if you want as well. 
But like I'm just skipping over the things that no one's gonna use guys so I can save your time I can save my own time and I can get this video uploaded before the end of tonight <laughs> Now I think we've gone through everything and I don't know what this new team is Oh, you can join teams in this app, I guess. Sorry, guys. I only use this app for, like, the first week. I only use it for, like, one week now. And then you can, like, follow friends, get karma. I don't know. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then once you want to record, you can either press the hotkey button so you bind it. Or you can just click here. And you'll click here and then you can start and end your recordings. And it's pretty chill. I can show you some of my clips right now uh which one i don't know this is to this one i need a little bit of damage there we go oh my gosh my voice yes okay the clip okay probably, that's it yo can can you stop talking Taj? okay that clip probably looks laggy on the youtube but that's because i'm recording it while looking at the video and it might be a bit scuffed but it's not laggy when you actually look through your clips Let's look through like one more. Um Nice oh, on you, I'm on you, I'm on you. Oh, I watch. Other friend, other friend, other friend, other friend coming across Dano. This guy is doing a spray, 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 spray. Spray them yo, attack them 99, 99, attack them 99. Yeah, he's in 2HP, he's in 2HP. Yo, why is it so laggy? Going for the boss. It looks laggy, but trust me, it's not laggy Mongo. when you actually do it. Classics, absolutely dog dog. <laughs> Saving that as a clip. Yeah, it's not actually laggy when you look at it, but that's because I'm lo- That's not loading, that's because I'm recording right now. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all you need to know. There's a low-key icon app if you just can't find it. It'll also be in your Windows search bar here. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, like, subscribe. Maybe. Maybe not. Please don't dislike. Like, I, I literally only have, like, 70 subs. Like, what's the point of disliking? But like you actually are giving me some, uh, what do you call it, some interaction. So YouTube might put it to more people. So yeah, um, I don't know what I'll say. If you want an exit like tutorial video, you can scroll down a bit of my videos and then you'll see an exit like tutorial video. And sooner or later, I think my next video, I'm going to make a video on how to get the lowest ping if your Wi-Fi is bad and stuff. So stay tuned. Please sub if you want to. No more of that. And also I'll be posting montages and like comp clips and stuff on my YouTube very soon. So thank you and uh, cheers.